Hi dear students, today I have bring you some important facts relating to volume and logarithms. Let's go for the question. Yeah, this is the question, question number 5 of part A, paper 2. So, this is basically on the volume. The base of the cuboid shaped glass container of height 1 meter is a square. The length of a side of the base is 25. The container is filled with water to exactly half of its height. So, here they have given us the first question, find the volume of water in the container in cubic centimeters. So, we have to take care about the uh, measurement or the dimension unit that is important. I will show you the uh, picture here. I have drawn for you water level I have mentioned here and it is up to 50 centimeters and the length 25 with 25 and the full height of the container is 100 centimeters that means 1 meter so up to the water level they are asking us to provide the volume of the water so I just write the formula volume of the water in the container it is length by width by height that is very important fact is I already informed you converted into a same unit that means we have to take all three dimensions in one unit so as per the question we have to take it in what take it in centimeters so here i have write it 25 by 25 length and width you can see here the bottom uh, of the container and uh, height is 50 millimeter why why 50 centimeters why why don't we take uh, 100 centimeters because they are asking only the water fill level up to the water field level therefore we are taking that answer 31,250 cubic centimeters is the answer so let's move to the second question yeah this is the second question they have given Rani has several identical solid right circular metal cylinders of unknown base radius and height 10 centimeters to find the base radius R of a cylinder she puts them one by one into the above container half filled water when exactly 25 of them are put the water reaches the level of the container being completely filled so we have to show some equation r equals blah 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 so here initially we have to understand the question very completely and very accurately so in order to teach you i will show you a diagram through a diagram I will discuss the question with you. So here they are they have mentioned that there are some cylinders, solid right circular metal cylinders, 25 numbers we are putting into that above uh, mentioned uh, what is the cuboid shape contain. So here I will show you this is the radius is simple r that means we have to find the we have to show that the formula if the subject is r so we have to take the subject as r and we have to show something so it is height is 10 centimeters i have yellow color you can see in the first and second uh, rows of the question and 25 numbers we are putting into a, that uh, cuboid shape container so i will already name that uh, dimensions here again and i just put them into that container then what happened then it is totally being filled so other part of the cuboid is totally filled so we can understand something i will show you in the next slide hey students here i again describe you the relationship between the cylinders and the raising volume of water so again i draw you the 25 number of cylinders and that means the volume of 25 solid right circular cylinders okay then i show you this is the already existed volume of that container water container but after filling these 25 number of cylinders the volume of the water has raised up to full 100 centimeters that means remained 50 centimeters so that means it is the increased volume of water to reach container filling level so up to the filling level so you can understand when we are putting these cylinders into that 
container or the cuboid that there was an raising of water so that traced volume should be equal to the 25 number of cylinders volume so therefore we are putting here equations so that is the relationship we have to consider uh, when calculating the when operating the question okay students here i have written that equation again and here i have put 25 multiplied by 5 r square h equals 31250 cubic centimeters 25 i have included because of 25 numbers of cylinders 5 r square h means the volume of right circular cylinders solid cylinders so 31250 means the in the first question we have calculated that volume as the existed volume of water at the initial stage and here it was the other half of that cuboid so therefore i have just put it here as 31250 as it is and here i have substitute h by 10 centimeters and here we have to calculate the formula for r therefore we have to put r as the subject in order to do that we have to take initially the r square for a one side we have to take r square alone within a one side therefore all other terms should be taken to the other side therefore here i have taken all the multiplication here as divisions so here you can see 31250 divided by 10 then it becomes 125 divided by 5 then r, r square equals 125 125 over 5 that equals r square r equals square root of 125 over 5 why did i put here only the positive answer because you know that if there is any square root there are two answers plus or minus but i have considered here only the plus answer only why is that because radius is a length length cannot be a negative or the minus answer that's why i put only consider here the plus or the positive answer and here i have some show you some important facts regarding indices or the indexes here 125 we can write as 5 to the power 3 because 5 into 5 into 5 equals 125 so i will write it here as it is and also we can consider this one 5 to the power 3 equals 5 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 1 that means 5 square multiplied by 5 because we know the square root of 5 square here square root of 5 square equals 5 that means cancel out the square root therefore we can reach here for the r equals 5 square root 5 over 5 that is the answer we have taken here and also in the important facts you can see the fourth point i have shown you some uh, important fact again because square root of some more than one row uh, one terms within a one uh, square root that means square root of the total square root or the whole square root is belongs to the separate terms within that bracket or within that term whole term so that is very important in the future we will see it here they are asking us to find the value of radius in centimeters for the first decimal place using 5 as 3.14 so let's start again here 5 i have wrote the equation again and i just substitute 5 with the 3.14 and here we have to calculate the answer as for the first decimal place therefore the easiest way is to put in logs we have to put log for the base 10 so here i will show you some facts if there is a 
multiplication of two terms within a log it is separately we can write as addition of two terms of logs here as well as if there is a square root of something it becomes to the it comes to the front of that log rhythm that means as a that index comes to the front so that also that rule there are two rules i have mentioned so that rule also important here because we have that square root here log r equals for the base 10 and log 10 log 5 for the base 10 here yeah, plus plus means 5 multiplied by square root That's, so within that square root log 5 minus log 3.14 that means 5 divided by 3.14 therefore here within the bracket and in front of that I have put half or the 1 over 2 fraction why is, why it is that because of the square root and here log r equals 0 0.6990 and then again half within bracket here we have to take on these logarithms or log values from that which where where we can take them we have to refer the log book and we have to take that uh, we have to take them here because by looking at them we can understand because we have the characteristics as 0, 0.0 point something and also mantissa we can calculate that or find the mantissa using log book or oh, hereby log r equals the calculation i will uh, in so for some students this is may be difficult because log logarithm is a, another uh, lesson actually so in future i will i am hoping to do some uh, video uh, for the logarithms and indices and logarithms especially so then it then uh, this will be easy for you don't worry about that i know some students are <laughs> telling me that they have very difficulties in logarithm so something so don't worry i just put here these things because of the calculation of the answer so that's why so don't worry i will uh, future give you some in detail for that lesson so here r equals then anti log of 0 0.8001 so when we are calculating the anti log we can reach to this answer as 6.3 centimeters because 6.3 means for the first decimal place only one decimal is there so i think students you understand these uh, things or the volume and the logarithms and some parts some important facts i also i have highlighted so if there are any questions you can ask me you can text me through uh, messenger or in future i will i'm expecting to give some more videos on these difficult areas especially on logarithms and likewise so keep in touch with me thank you for the watching this video and goodbye children i will see you in the next video Thank you.